Welcome to another one of my math videos. Here we have a really cool problem which I thought was a ton of fun and it involves a never-ending square root. And notice that we have one square root which is inside of another square root which is inside of another square root and this goes on forever and ever. Uh, this is what we call a nested radical. And the cool thing about nested radicals is that even though there is an infinite number of square roots, some of them actually have an exact value. And this is the case for this example. This nested radical does have an exact value. So the question for this video is, can you solve for the exact value of x? Or can you solve and find the exact value of this nested radical? And I'll give you a hint. You need nothing more than a basic knowledge of algebra uh, to solve for x. So take your time, work on this problem, pause the video if you need to, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. So how do we solve this never-ending radical? Well first let's take a look at this area which I highlighted in red. Notice how this area is the square root of 6 and inside that square root we have plus the square root of 6 and inside that square root we have plus the square root of 6 and this pattern is repeated forever. This red area is exactly the same as x. x is also equal to the square root of 6 plus inside that square root we have the square root of 6 and the pattern is repeated forever and ever. So, since they're exactly the same, we can substitute an x into the red area. And now we have a pretty simple equation that can be solved using basic algebra. So, in order to get rid of the square root, I'm going to square both sides of the equation. And now on the right side of the equation, the square and the square root cancel each other out, and we are left with 6 plus x. So now we can solve for x by either factoring or by using the quadratic equation. But in order to save some time, I'm just going to tell you that x is equal to 3 or negative 2. Uh, notice how if we plug in 3 for x, we have 3 squared, which is equal to 9, and we have 6 plus 3, which is also equal to 9. So the equation is true. And the other solution of negative 2, we can completely disregard. This is because a square root can never be negative. If we go back to our original problem, uh, the right side of the equation, which is a bunch of square roots, can never be negative, which means x, the left side, can also never be negative. So we can disregard the negative 2 solution, and the only solution for this problem is x is equal to 3. So let me know what you thought of this video. Did it blow your mind knowing that an infinite number of square roots has an exact value, or did you think this was the most boring video? in the world. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.